Good morning. We've made it to Tuesday. This is June the 2nd. Reading from my utmost for his highest. What are you haunted by? Psalms 25, 12. What man is he that feareth the Lord? What are you haunted by? You will say, by nothing. But we are all haunted by something, generally by ourselves, or, if we are Christians, by our experience. The psalmist says we are to be haunted by God. The abiding consciousness of the life is to be God, not thinking about him. The whole of our life, inside and out, is to be absolutely haunted by the presence of God. A child's consciousness is so mother-haunted that although the child is not consciously thinking of its mother, yet when calamity arises, the relationship that abides is that of the mother. So we are to live and move and have our being in God, to look at everything in relation to God, because the abiding consciousness of God pushes itself to the front all the time. If we are haunted by God, Nothing else can get in. No cares, no tribulation, no anxieties. We see now why our Lord so emphasized the sin of worry. How can we dare be so utterly unbelieving when God is round about us? To be haunted by God is to have an effective barrier against all the onslaughts of the enemy. His soul shall dwell at ease. In tribulation, misunderstanding, slander, in the midst of all these things, if our life is hid with Christ and God, he will keep us at ease. We rob ourselves of the marvelous revelation of this abiding companionship of God. God is our refuge. Nothing can come through that shelter been listening to an audio book on the way over on the, the China, China Inland Mission started by James Hudson Taylor uh, in 1855. One of the phrases that he shared with his fellow missionaries uh, was, either Jesus is Lord of all or Jesus is not Lord at all. Either he is in control or he's not. And we know he is. And we know he controls us, that he has chosen us before the foundation of the world. Still trying to learn the melody for one of uh, Hudson Taylor's favorite songs. Jesus, I am resting, resting in the joy of what thou art. I am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart. Thou hast bid me gaze upon thee, and thy beauty fills my soul. For by thy transforming power, thou hast made me whole. Jesus, I am resting, resting in the joy of what thou art. I am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart. Oh, how great thy loving kindness, vaster, broader than the sea. Oh, how marvelous thy goodness lavished all on me. Yes, I rest in thee, beloved. Know what wealth of grace is thine. Know thy certainty of promise and have made it mine. Simply trusting thee, Lord Jesus, I behold thee as thou art. And thy love, so pure, so changeless, satisfies my heart, satisfies its deepest longings, meets, supplies every need, compasseth me round the bless with blessing. Thine is love indeed. Ever lift thy face upon me as I work and wait for thee, resting neath thy smile, Lord Jesus. Earth's dark shadows flee. Brightness of my Father's glory, sunshine of my Father's face, keep me ever trusting, resting, fill me with thy grace. Jesus, I am resting, resting 
and the joy of what thou art. I am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart. May we today feel as rested in the battle as we did in the bed. <laughs> that was an adage from Stonewall Jackson that he would be at peace because of God, whether he were in battle or in bed. Let the fray, the wind, the waves, the lightning, the storms be what they are, but let Jesus be who he is. And you belong to him. In Jesus' name, amen.